This is the Orca hand from ETH Zurich, a dexterous robotic hand with 17 degrees of freedom and tactile sensors embedded at its fingertips. The entire structure is almost entirely 3D printed, yet it can perform more than 10,000 consecutive grasps, equivalent to about 20 hours of non-stop operation. Even more impressive, the entire project is fully open source. From the mechanical design to the control software, everything is available for download, so you can easily replicate it yourself. On the control side, it supports teleoperation, imitation learning, and even zero-shot transfer from simulation to reality. Sounds incredible, right? So, how does it actually work? Let's start with the mechanics. To ensure robustness and precise control, Orca Hand relies on three key design tricks. The first is popable pin joints. Joint design is notoriously challenging in 3D printed hands. The most common solution, pinhole joints, are simple and stable but prone to breaking under overload. Rolling contact joints, on the other hand, can dislocate instead of breaking, but they require ligament-like flexible elements that loosen over time. Orca introduces popable pin joints. The bearings sit inside arc-shaped grooves, staying firmly in place under normal conditions, but popping out when excessive loads occur. Instead of breaking, the joint simply dislocates, and you can snap it back in to resume operation. This design combines the simplicity and stability of pinhole joints with the robustness of rolling contact joints, while also being easy to assemble. Think of it like a human joint that can dislocate and then quickly reset. The second trick is the quick tendon tensioning system. Tendon-driven hands inevitably suffer from slack over time, which degrades accuracy. The Orca addresses this by adding a compact ratchet mechanism at the motor. Without disassembling the system or rewinding tendons, you simply turn the ratchet and, within seconds, the tendons are retensioned, dramatically improving maintenance efficiency. The third is tendon routing at the distal interphalangeal joints. One of the toughest challenges in tendon-driven hands is that proximal and distal joints are often mechanically coupled, making control difficult. Orca's solution is to route the DIP tendon through the center of rotation of the proximal joint. This clever geometry effectively decouples joint motions, creating a near-linear mapping between motor angles and joint angles. The result, lower control complexity and higher accuracy. Now let's look at the control system. Many robots perform beautifully in simulation, but fail spectacularly in the real world. The infamous Sim2 real gap. Orca hand, however, achieves zero-shot reinforcement learning transfer thanks to its self-calibration system. By the way, you're not going to get this kind of deep dive into robotics papers anywhere else, only here on 5-Minute Robots. So make sure to smash that like button and drop a nice comment. Otherwise, the platform just won't push this content out. By running a single full-range motion, the Orca can calibrate a linear mapping model between motor angles and joint angles. Feeding this empirical model into simulation yields a digital twin that is nearly indistinguishable from the real hardware. The research team used the Isaac Jim in V's wrapper with an advantage actor critic reinforcement learning architecture to train Orca hand to reorient a ball in its palm. The simulation training took only about one hour and the learned policy transferred directly to the real hardware with zero tuning. To sum up, tendon routing decouples joint motion, reducing complexity, while self-calibration ensures precise motor-to-joint correspondence and minimizes error. Together, these enable true zero-shot sim to real transfer. Beyond reinforcement learning, the Orca hand also excels at imitation learning. The team collected 2.5 hours of human grasp and place demonstrations using motion capture to track wrist and finger joint angles. Based on this dataset, they trained imitation policies using a diffusion model which is known for strong generalization. In subsequent experiments, Orca Hand ran continuously for seven hours, executing over 2,000 grasp and place operations with a peak success rate of 86.6%. Here it's worth mentioning the fingertip sensors. Orca uses common force-sensitive resistors covered with a silicone skin. Instead of measuring continuous force values, the system simply treats them as threshold switches, detecting whether contact is present or not. This is likely because FSRS tend to drift after repeated use. In other words, the tactile information available is actually very limited. Yet, even with such minimal tactile sensing, 
Orca still achieved stable imitation learning control, much like how humans, even with impaired sensation, can still grasp reliably using vision and residual touch. To summarize, popable pin joints make Orca hand more durable. The tensioning system greatly improves maintainability, tendon routing and self-calibration, reduce control complexity and boost accuracy, enabling zero-shot reinforcement learning transfer, and imitation learning, powered by multimodal sensing and diffusion models, ensures robust and human-like operation. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss more amazing robotics.